Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously, we've developed mappings which extracted data from the source and loaded it to the target without any transformations. Today, we'll take a look at the concept of transformation in Informatica. First, let's discuss the concept of ETL. ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. Just as the name implies the process extracts data from the homogeneous or heterogeneous data sources, transforms the data for storing it in proper format or structure for querying and analysis purposes. It then loads it into the final target, which can be a database, more specifically an operational data store, data mart or data warehouse. The ETL systems commonly integrate data from multiple applications, typically developed and supported by different vendors or hosted on separate computer hardware. As the ETL process involves extracting, transforming and loading the data into a warehouse, Informatica as an ETL tool provides all these functionalities. Informatica can communicate with all major data sources. For example, the mainframe, RDBMS, flat files, XMLs, VSM, SAP, etc. It can perform various transformations on it. Expression, router, aggregator, lookup, joiner, etc. Using these transformations, we can load data into the data warehouse. Our main focus in this video are the transformations. There are two kinds of transformations in Informatica. Firstly, the active transformation and then the passive transformations. An active transformation can perform any of the following actions. Change the number of rows that pass through the transformation. For example, the filter transformation is active because it provides, because it removes rows that do not meet the filter condition. Then change the transaction boundary. For example, the transaction control transformation is active because it defines a commit or rollback transaction based on an expression evaluated for each row. Then change the row type. For example, the update strategy transformation is active because it flags rows for insert, update, delete or reject. The passive transformation on the other hand is a transformation which will satisfy all the below conditions. It does not change the number of rows that pass through the transformation, maintains the transaction boundary, and also maintains the row type. Here are a few examples of the active transformations. Aggregator. It performs aggregate calculations. Application source qualifier. It represents the rows that the integration service reads from an application such as an ERP source when it runs a session. Source qualifier represents the rows that the integration service reads from a relational or flat file source when it runs a session. Sorter transformation. It sorts data based on a sort key. The union transformation merges data from different databases or flat file systems. The update strategy. It determines whether to insert, delete, update or reject rows. The rank transformation limits records to a top or bottom range. The router transformation routes data into multiple transformations based on group conditions. The filter transformation filters data. The normalizer transformation source qualifier for COBOL sources can also be used in the pipeline to normalize data from relational or flat file sources. The transaction control transformation defines commit and rollback transformations. The joiner transformation joins data from different databases or flat file systems. The XML source qualifier represents the rows that the integration service reads from an XML source when it runs a session. The XML generator 
reads data from one or more input ports and output XML through a single output port. The XML parser reads XML from one input port and outputs data to one or more output ports. Here are a few examples of the passive transformations. Data masking. It replaces sensitive production data with realistic test data for non-production environments. The expression transformation calculates a value. The external procedure transformation calls a procedure in a shared library or in the COM layer of Windows. The input transformation defines maplet input rows available in the maplet designer. The output transformation defines maplet output rows. That's also available in the maplet designer. The sequence generator generates primary keys. The stored procedure transformation calls a stored procedure, while the HTTP transformation connects to an HTTP server to read or update data. Active. Let's take a quick look at a couple of specific examples of an active and passive transformation in Informatica. As described in the previous slides, the expression transformation is used to calculate values by transforming specific port values as records pass through the transformation. So, while records pass, records are being transformed, they are never removed or added. The same number of records, number of records that come into the transformation always come out. Let's observe that the below partial mapping. We have a source qualifier transformation with one port mapped to a passive expression transformation. We then perform a quick upper function to the port named inpassive and ma map it to an active filter transformation. Let's take a closer look at our active transformation. The filter fill passive demo. We have restricted the records coming out of the transformation of values of cool demo. So any values in this port that do not meet this criteria will be filtered out, reducing our total record count. Let's take a look at a few limitations <coughs> of, these, of these transformations. The designer does not allow you to connect multiple active transformations or an active and a passive transformation to the same downstream transformation or transformation input group because the integration service may not be able to con concatenate the rows passed by active transformations. For example, one branch in mapping contains an update strategy transformation that flags a row for delete. Another branch contains an update strategy transformation that flags a row for insert. If you connect these transformations to a single transformation input group, the integration service cannot combine the delete and insert operations for the row. Hope you have a basic idea of the active and passive transformations now. We'll take a closer look at each of the transformations in the coming lectures, so do stay with us. Thank you. Bye-bye.